I believe the flexibility of this disc machine over other discs is what we really bring to farming. Because we can plant faster, it gives you many more options and the flexibility to arrange your cropping program. It's desirable to plant your crop as fast as possible. If there's rain on the way on the weekend, you can plant 1,000 acres pretty quickly. And if you're a one-man operation, for example, it gives you much more flexibility. You can spray in the morning and perhaps plant in the afternoon. It gives the farmer much more flexibility to do that. And also, there are many farming in remote areas where it's difficult to get operators. And it's a big plus if you can slash the number of planting rigs you operate. Alternatively, if you are a one-man show, it will take much of the stress out of the planting season and make the whole job easier. Now running the farm on my own, and wanting to uh, get over more ground on myself, by myself, and trash clearance, less fuel used, about a third less fuel pulling the thing. But no, just fit it in with the whole program. I started off, we were just gonna do light land, do the lupins, then run the rest with the, the six row all farm. It's all rigged up that you can just drop the air seeder tank straight on that, 15 minutes off you go with that. But you get into seeding and you go into the next paddock and it's working out pretty well. And you know, oh, bugger it, might as well keep on going. So we did and that was the first year. The second year we, um, well, I just got into routine where I'd start off spraying two tanks in the morning, come back and work all day on this. and. It was working really well in all conditions, whether it was just stubbles and fallowed paddocks. I never had to worry about trash. Uh, folding up transport was a piece of cake. Just the general program by spraying out the two tanks, that's given me 500 acres. I could then, knew I could seed 500 acres. A lot of the times I couldn't do it because I didn't have enough in the truck to, to do the 500 acres, but it, on the occasions that I had to the material there, I've done 500 acres in a day after spraying 500 acres. Oh, you'd run probably from half past 11 through until 8 or 9 o'clock at night. I use a 95 Caterpillar on the front and with a 1,000 litre fuel tank, I can either have done a 1,000 acres or I've been down to um, 680 acres, just depending on the country pulling it. But there's no way you could do that with a bar. Here we have uh, a Matic pasture, same with the dish drill. It is a nitrogen fixing legume. It's also a good grazing option for our sheep, merinos. There is one advantage with a disc. If you have already got Matic established, because you're so low of disturbance, you're not actually ripping already established plants out the ground. And that is one big advantage over a tine implement. You're just cutting through a very narrow slice and you're not disturbing the uh, other plants in between into row if they're already established. Oh well, with, as far as with the uh, the chemicals, I think uh, as you saw in that wheat crop up there, on the sowing row, it has incorporated the uh, the treflin and the avidex, and kept the rye grass out of the sowing row. I think we're finding that it is incorporating the chemical good enough in the seed row to keep the rye grass at bay. Yeah, well, this, this would take the place of two of those bars. Like that bar there, this would take the place of two of those. And what it does in a day, well, less bloody manpower. You can do it all yourself. The main difference, obviously, is the speed which with you can get across the country, and we can get on. It means you can sow a little bit earlier at the start because of wet conditions, and you can go longer because you can place the seed better. So your window for sowing is larger than what a time machine would be. Yeah, but, and the main difference, obviously, is the speed with which we can cover the country probably an extra 30 or 40 percent quicker than our time machines. In the Burren Junction Cryon district, so it's mainly broadacre farming. We're broadacre cropping and sheep and cattle. We crop generally between 50 and 55,000 acres each year on this property and, and run our sheep and cattle just in between operations. That varies greatly that. The main thing out this way is always to have timeliness of operations of everything. Sowing timeliness is so critical. And we're, we're very late this year, but uh, we're still getting in as quick as the season's allowed us to get it in. So uh, we've just got to get the crop in as quick as we can. That's why we have the three bullets we own and, and three time machines also, which is a good mix for our farming operation. 
The cropping operation's all geared around minimum till farming. We haven't tilled country here for a long time. We, we started minimum till back in 1997 when we purchased this property. And uh, we've tried to keep those principles as strict as, as we can. The only cultivation we generally do is after a sorghum crop. And we try to maintain the stubbles as much as we can. Yes, Margie was doing probably majority of the planting while I was gophering and spraying and shifting grain about. And on the black soils, we we're travelling around the 11 and a half, 12 and a half kilometres an hour. And on the red soil, we we're travelling up to 16 and a half kilometres an hour, which was a, definitely a, a great saving in time because last year we were only travelling at eight kilometres an hour and this year we were travelling from 11.5 up to 16.5 kilometres an hour, which made it so much quicker. And we needed to get it in quicker because we had the break a month later. You know, on the video, I think there's a guy says, I assume he's got a, a 60 foot machine, says he's gone and sprayed in the morning and then gone and sowed a thousand acres. I believe it, like that is, that's not bullshit. <laughs> Whereas when you hear it, you sort of think, you know, there's no, there's no way you could spray and sow a thousand acres in a day on your own, but I think with a, with a 60 footer and a bit of speed, and not huge speed, you could do it. Before with our time machine, our limitations were the sowing rig, like getting over the country, whereas it's probably reversed now. We actually had to limit how many hours the Tobin was doing because we just couldn't keep in front with the spraying once again because there was only two of us here, so we sort of limited labour-wise. The other thing where we picked up efficiency was we went from a 4,000 litre air cart to a 12,000, mainly too because we knew we were going to sowing faster, so we needed a bit more capacity there. So we've gone from sowing with reasonably high rates, like 35 to 40 kilos of seed and sort of up to 80 kilos of fertiliser. We're able to sow sort of around the 80 to 85 hectares on a fill, which is just, you know, we've gone from sowing 20 hectares to 85 on a fill. It's, it's picked up a lot of efficiency. A lot of the labour problems in agriculture are because of the mining. So it's hard to get casual staff. So we've just sort of limited our operation to two and whatever efficiencies we can gain, like with sowing and things like that, uh, we just pick it up that way rather than employ people. We run a family operation, that, that's why we're limited to two staff. It's just my father and I, and, and he generally does the sowing and, and I do the spraying and it just, just works out well. We employ people to harvest time, but at sowing time, it's just just the two of us and we make do. And, and now with the machine, it's, you know, I'd be comfortable sowing a lot more area than what we've been sowing. I'd be comfortable up to 10,000 acres, just the two of us. I think it's very achievable with not much stress, no trouble at all. I think you could put anyone on it, almost my mother. <laughs> <laughs>